how to get more reach and visibility on social media without spending even one single dollar. Welcome to this video. My name is Robert Roth and all my career long I was turning my passions into my business and this channel is all about how you can turn your passion into your business and grow it online. All right, this video is all about your visibility, your reach on social media and how you can get more of that in order to get more clients and more business and all of that without spending any money doing so. In this video I have the following for you. So you get info about three conditions that you should meet in order to get the maximum out of the five strategies that I'm gonna talk through with you in this video and also I'm gonna deliver you two main reasons that a lot of people give themselves in their head and hold themselves back <laughs> from their own success. Let's dive right into it. So the three conditions that you actually should meet in order to get the maximum out of all of this. The first one is you basically should already know your target group. You should also know the problems and you should know the wishes that they have in their mind. Also, you should be able to address exactly that in your post. So that would be precondition number two. And the third one would be you should actually know which are the social media channels that your target group is using. So is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it YouTube? Is it LinkedIn? Is it a combination of them? Whatever that is. In case you don't, then just do the research and figure that out. So the five strategies that I'd like to bring to you in this video, some of them, they are really, really simple. And you might have heard of them. You might even use some of them. If you're, and there might be some that you are not using. And if you're not using them right now, I really, really highly adjust, suggest to start using them because they work. So the first one would be, are you doing live videos already? Like you basically know on Facebook, you can do live videos also on other channels, like on LinkedIn. Right now you still have to request LinkedIn in order to get that feature, but also on YouTube, Instagram, you can do live videos. And on Facebook for sure, and also on the other channels, more, it's more likely to get way more reach if you use that feature. Why? Basically, the reason is simple, because a platform like Facebook, you just have to think about how is Facebook making their money. And how it works is like the longer people are using Facebook on their phone, on the laptop and consuming the content that they can find in there, the more ads Facebook can play out to them. And at the end, the more money Facebook is making through these ads because people, businesses are paying for that ad service. So that means a live video holds people longer or the attention of people longer on average. This is why Facebook says thank you to you with more reach that you get actually organically 100% for free. Then if you do normal posts, for example, on Facebook and you write a text for your target audience and just think about yourself if there's a photo or if there's no photo and you, you use Facebook yourself on your phone, you scroll through and then which ones are the posts that you're actually stopping and reading? And you might know, usually these are the posts with a photo also. So a photo works as a scroll stopper, so to speak. So it stops people from scrolling and at least maybe reading the first line. And if that is even catching them, they might read more of the post. So make sure that the photos that you're using are actually captivating your target audience. So they are speaking to their problem or to their wishful situation that you could actually help them uh, get in their life. If you do so, you have a higher chance to stop them from scrolling and read your, read your post, especially if they are highly emotional of some sort. Number three, strategy number three, are you doing cooperations with 
other businesses on social media already. Like, for example, you could go ahead and uh, find other experts in your niche or outside of the niche that are still connected somehow. So, you know, you could um, help your partner's audience with your advice and your partner could help your audience with his advice. Then why not, for example, interviewing each other? You interview your partner on your platform, he interviews you on his platform. You get his additional reach, like you get a totally different target audience and he gets your reach. And at the same time, your audience gets fresh advice from some, somebody totally different and vice versa, vice versa. So a super good way to not spend money and still get a lot more reach especially fresh reach and if you do this over and over with different partners thumbs up for that facebook groups strategy number four i'm pretty sure you're using them groups also exist on other platforms like linkedin but facebook is very strong on that are you actually posting helpful information in these groups like usually for example let's say it's a facebook group about marketing and you would be in that group and read whatever people write in the group and you figure some people are asking the same question over and over. And let's say you create a post that gives the answer to the problems that they are searching a solution for, that will be definitely helpful for them, right? If you can do something like that, you will definitely get a lot of reach in groups. Also, Facebook groups, they give you more reach than you would get on your own profile. So, and also it makes sense to just answer the questions that you could find in Facebook groups. And the more people would see your name coming up in these groups, the more they would start remembering it. And if they are having a specific type of question and they remember you as the expert, you might be contacted by them and even get business like that. Number, strategy number five. In general, you know that there are all these different social media platforms out there, YouTube, Instagram, etc., and they are all developing. So from time to time, they are bringing a new feature. And that's very interesting because in that phase, when they are just starting that feature and go live with it, they, of course, they want to know how useful that feature is or how many people are actually wanting to use that feature. So what happens is, if you start using that feature and let's say live videos would not exist and now they just come to Facebook and you start using it, they would give you way more reach in a lot of cases because you are helping them to actually live test their new feature. So it can really make sense to stay up to date with about the platforms that you are actually using where your target audience can be found and just be a tester for that platform by using the new features and in return you will get more reach from the platform. All right, now there are two reasons for people who are marketing on social media or wanting to market on social media and thinking they are not getting enough, enough reach and they are basically in your mind. So if let me ask you these two reasons and let's see if you have an, an issue with that or if you're completely free of that. If you feel that it speaks to you and you know that there is something inside you that is holding you back, like for example, before you post, post something on a platform, do you think about what will all these people think? What will your target audience think about it, uh, what will, maybe there are other people in there, maybe there are even friends of you in there and family or whatever, and they are also seeing these posts. And are you thinking about that before you post a post? And have you ever not posted a post <laughs> because you thought that? If so, then you have a problem with that. You have to get these limitations out of your mind because you are just holding yourself back from your own success. So what is the solution? Either you can go ahead and um, let's say it's on Facebook and you have friends in there, but you also do business. You could uh, create these groups and show specific posts only to your friends and show specific posts not to your friends, but to your target audience for business. That's one way. And the other way is just like get rid of it in your mind and 
post whatever you want to post because as long as you know this is the right thing to post you can really help people with that post and whatever anybody else thinks none of their business once you're at that stage thumbs up for you let me ask you did you ever ask yourself am i good enough for this like before you post something and maybe you make a, a bold statement in there in your post and you're like hey am i good enough to actually post this like what will again it's kind of the same what will they think but it's a different thing that happens because like why are you thinking am i good enough to do that maybe that's very very often the exact reason maybe you are looking at your competitors and you you are comparing yourself to your competitors and then seeing competitors that are maybe longer in their business five years ten years longer in their business they had so much more success because they had so many more clients and they have so much more experience and all of that and then you think like hey who am i <laughs> in order to post something like that person if you think something like that get rid of it i hope this video was helpful for you i mean like seriously if you do the things that you're not doing right now and start using them you are gonna get more reach and more visibility for your business absolutely for free leave me a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you want more about online business building personal growth looking forward to see you in the next video cheers yours robert <music>